Hi, I'm David. I'm archivist at Bethlehem Museum of the Mind, which means I'm also the archivist of the South London and Maudsley NHS Foundation Trust. Um, we're looking at some items that celebrate the history of the Maudsley Hospital in time for its 100th year anniversary. And today we're going to be looking at some items that bring us up to date with the Maudsley's history. Um, so the first item we're looking at is a scrapbook put together by one of our gallery artists, Xavier White. Um, I absolutely love this. Now, I sometimes struggle to get items that really put together the patient experience uh, for me. Uh, I quite often get things like board reports or annual reports or minutes of meetings, that sort of thing, which are all really important historical sources, but they don't always give me the patient's eye view. I feel this really captures Xavier's experience of coming into the Maudsley in 1985 with a serious head injury, and it also captures elements of record keeping that I don't simply don't get access to. Um, there's a uh, form here describing him as unknown man. There's another form here that uh, describes the possessions that he had when he came into the Maudsley. And it's little things like this that we don't always get um, through our history. We don't always pick up. And so just seeing them here really gives us an idea of what Xavier's experience must have been like coming into the Maudsley, coming into that sort of administrative environment. In addition to that, we've also got lots of cards sent by his well-wishers. We've got some of his artwork, we've got some of his early writings, and we've also got some of the lovely photographs here, which again, I think speak a whole lot louder than a lot of words can do. So this is a really lovely piece, and I'm really grateful Xavier's decided to donate it to the archive. Um, it really helps fill gaps that would otherwise exist in the records. Um, the other things we have here are some really important tools and really important things for capturing the history of any institution, not just the hospital, but they are the newsletters produced, but in this case by the comms team, though we've actually got a selection of newsletters that go back to the 1950s. And they are always the first thing I check every time I'm asked to look at an event or something that's happened in the hospital's lifespan, because they really capture what's going on on the ground in the hospital. They capture what's happening, what developments are going on, what's in the pipeline for the future. And they're just a really good way of me being able to see quickly and easily what the concerns are, what the tone is um, for the particular time, what the worries are, whether that's by staff, whether that's by management. And these were communication tools, you know, then some, a lot of them date from a time before staff had email, though that seems like a very long time ago to us today. Um, and they were the way that you were able to establish a dialogue between people who managed and people who worked on the ground. So they're a really important way of getting what's going on in a hospital at any particular time. And we have here um, some of the uh, newsletters that show participation in the 2012 Olympics, for example. And while that might not seem like that long ago to us, it is 10 years. And I will start getting questions about that fairly soon in my role as archivist.